Battlefield just landed a major sucker punch against Call of Duty. EA has just revealed to IGN that Byron Bede, a former general manager of Call of Duty and Destiny, whilst that was in Activision's hands, has now joined EA and will be taking on the role of senior vice president and general manager of the Battlefield franchise. A direct quote from EA reads that this move signals a strategic long-term commitment to the growth of the franchise. Now, to give you a little bit of background about this person, Bede most recently worked as part of launching the live service aspects for Call of Duty, and that includes Warzone and Call of Duty Mobile, which have been massive successes in their own right. This is absolutely huge news for the Battlefield franchise and for the Call of Duty franchise as well, but I would argue it's a bigger move for Battlefield. For a very, very long time, Call of Duty has been the top dog in the FPS scene, and Battlefield, not for a lack of trying, has pretty much always been in second place. A couple of times in the past, you could say that Battlefield stood a bit taller. Battlefield 3 back in 2011 and Battlefield 1 in 2016 were, I think, the two most obvious points where Battlefield was ahead of Call of Duty, but by and large, Battlefield has been the runner-up. Now, this sort of statement confirms that EA knows that this situation exists and they want to do something about it by taking on an extremely experienced former Call of Duty executive to lead the franchise forwards. That is not your run-of-the-mill appointment. This does not happen every single day. This is like, I don't know, Lionel Messi decided to join Real Madrid having played at Barcelona for pretty much his entire life. Somebody coming directly from the Call of Duty leadership and slotting right into the driver's seat for Battlefield that says to me that EA is absolutely serious about pushing Battlefield forwards after a few years out of the limelight. For Call of Duty, they're losing somebody who was directly involved in one of the biggest changes of directions that that franchise has ever seen, away from solely focusing on those $60 releases every year, and more so into the free-to-play space with Warzone and Call of Duty Mobile. And those are obviously supported by massive live services and plenty of microtransactions. Now, according to the IGN article, Speed will be a part of this year's Battlefield game and next year's Battlefield mobile game, but overall, his focus is going to be on the future of the franchise beyond these two titles. He will report directly to Vince Zampella, who is the head of the Dice LA and Respawn Studios, and he'll work alongside Oscar Gabrielson, who is the Dice Stockholm General Manager, and David Rutter, the GM for EA European Studios. Now, as for further information or how this relates to the next game, of course, at the moment, we don't have any of that information because EA and Battlefield are keeping all of that very close to their chests and they won't be revealing any of that until the 9th of June. But if you want my opinion, I think this is EA looking to fix an issue that has long plagued their Battlefield games. They do have a problem with player retention. Battlefield has these massive releases with just huge player numbers, but those numbers have tended to drop off quite quickly after the hype of the launch has, has moved on. And usually that comes from the fact that there's no clear plan on what content's coming and when those updates are going to arrive. And I think that leaves players with a lot less confidence in Battlefield games long term compared to something like Call of Duty. And if you look at Modern Warfare 2019 and the way their seasons have rolled around and it's always very clear about when that next bit of content is going to come along, a lot of people have confidence in a game like Call of Duty that it's always going to be there providing something that you can play. That confidence has never really been there with the Battlefield franchise, and Battlefield 5's live service is a great example. There were just huge gaps in content, nothing really filling those spaces, but again, then massive dumps of content, but after a few weeks, the players would go away again because there was no clear path about what was coming next. So I think EA is trying to fix that problem. They're trying to live up to the expectations that are now being set across the industry by other games and other studios. Now we've got just seven days to go until we find out a lot more about the next Battlefield game that Bede is now going to be a part of. And no doubt we'll get a better idea for the scale of the project and what DICE is really going for. It is worth remembering that more studios than ever are working on this game. We've got DICE Stockholm, DICE LA, Criterion in the UK, EA Gothenburg, and industrial toys, so the scale is what of what's being built might well be beyond anything that we've seen before, but also at the same time, those extra studios may have come in to fine-tune and polish what DICE Stockholm and DICE LA have been working on for quite some time. I'll of course be covering everything Battlefield related here on the channel, so make sure you're subscribing for more coverage of that, the reveal and beyond, 
and leave me a comment below letting me know what you think of this news that's come out today. And drop a like as well. I'll catch you all in the next one.